What's up, everybody? Um, I'm having another Kid Icarus Uprising update. And finally, the North America official site has came up and also for the United Kingdoms, which the United Kingdoms is basically the same thing as the Japanese official site, which is just in English. But the North America site is completely different in look and uh, how the menu works. So there's not much new about um, the site or any new uh, information, uh, just some character bios that we already know about. But this will be a updated site throughout weeks leading up to the game's release date. So again, I'll be updating you guys on it. And for, for you guys to see, there will be a link to the official site in the description for you guys to check out for yourselves. It's a really cool looking uh, site. So what I want to talk about was the AR cards, which is actually that has some new information involved in it and that is they will it will the game will automatically be bundled with six AR cards but they will be randomized and uh so no no set of uh of cards will be the same as someone else you uh may who one of your friends may have had um probably the only cards that will be the same is the the uh, cards of Pitt and Politana, that's probably all. The other four or maybe three will be completely random. How you acquire all the other AR cards is a complete mystery since there happens to be way more than six. There's actually maybe about two dozen uh, cards. So will you be able to acquire it on Club Nintendo or maybe just buy them at your local GameStop, still no information. So the site lists these things, and of course, the 3DS stand is coming um, with the game bundled. So you're getting a lot for, you know, a standard price for a 3DS game. You're getting a stand, you're getting uh, six AR cards, and plus if you pre-order the game, you're going to get... Um, the 3D Classics, Kid Icarus, which is basically a remastered version of the original 1989 Kid Icarus game that was for the NES. So it's a lot for a standard price. And really, if you know I was Nintendo, I would sell this for like maybe $60. That's really what it's worth. But it, it's good that we're only getting it at the standard price of $40 or $44. Um, plus tax. So, about multiplayer, um, I had a video on the powers that you'll be able to acquire. It seems that with powers, it doesn't work how I thought it w would. Um, I thought it would work how you would just, uh, it was a pickup, but according to the site and other sources, um, you will be able to equip powers. Um, with your character instead of it being a pickup. I don't, well, I don't know if there will be pickups. I don't know exactly if how to uh, activate them, if you'll be able to activate them at will while in multiplayer battles, but it is currently unknown. But think of, say, Call of Duty, how you have perks. You have three perks, which um, basically overall changes the gameplay of how you actually use certain weapons or um, certain um, ways your uh, your character moves or anything. It's basically like that. Of course, you have powers like uh, being able to run faster, being able to jump, um, having a sort of laser blast or meteor shower, and those are some of the uh, the powers right there so how would they activate maybe as many players as you take out um, you have to take out a certain amount of players for one to activate or one or two I guess maybe they could work again referencing um, referring to Call of Duty like uh, say uh, kill streaks maybe they work like that um, 
that would make more sense instead of, you know, just having a pickup and, you know, being able to basically dominate depending on which power you choose the whole com uh, competition. So, of course, we have the uh, light versus dark, which is basically team deathmatch, and we have the free-for-all, which is everybody against each other. So, that really is all the news. And um, about vehicles, it is confirmed that the Exo Tank will not be the only vehicle. There will be other vehicles in the game which Pit will use. So that's cool. So if you go to the site, you see a, a giant picture of Pit with his classic bow of Palutena. Um, that is his. Um, basically the most probably going to be in the game the most powerful bow uh in the game and also about weapons uh they will be able to have stats like you can make them better like was demonstrated in the difficulty trailer you'll see that if you complete difficulty your uh, weapon will actually become more powerful and stuff but if that carry, I, it's not sure. I'm not sure if that carries on to multiplayer, or other uh, stages, or is that just for you know maybe the next stage it'll be a little bit more powerful, and that's it. Uh, once you get on multiplayer, the stats are completely reset. Uh, according to multiplayer, it will be able. To, you'll be able to do the same thing. The stats will get better, and they are again random. So. That is an interesting feature, and there is a rumor that maybe through Street Pass there will be weapon fusing, but there hasn't been much on that. That's just a rumor up right now. It's a patent, but it hasn't been said to be in a game, and honestly, that would just be very confusing, you know, for weapons to fuse. Uh, but it will be a fun little unique perk for the game since it is packed with content. Um, than most 3D S games. So that's really all the news, guys. So tell me what you guys think about the news. Go to the site. Tell me what you think about the site. Uh, again, the site is pretty pretty fresh. So things are not all unlocked. You'll see a lot of coming soon or more information uh, soon and all that. So uh, tell me what you guys think and go to the official site and I'll be doing more updates on Kid Icarus Uprising as more things are revealed. And also guys, I will also be doing a, an unboxing and review of the game and don't forget to go to my official fan page on Facebook which I will put a link to that in the description. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next update.